Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to introduce you to a tool so powerful it's going to transform the way you manage and automate your code creation in Backfrap. Introducing the Backfrap MCP. So what exactly is a MCP? MCP stands for Model Context Protocol and it's a protocol. It's a specification that allows two things to communicate. In this case, a model, as in a large language model such as ChatGPT or Claude, and a context, in this case, Back for App. So the AI can connect to Back for App and do all sorts of operations in it, from the creation of the app all the way to the creation of the front end that's going to be presented to your end users, accelerating your development by a lot and giving you full control of every single step involved in the process. And what exactly can you do with the Backfrap MCP? You can do all sorts of operations inside your Backfrap account. You can create new apps. You can add classes to these apps. You can add properties to those classes. And once they are created, you can change or remove those properties and classes. You can deploy cloud code functions. You can deploy cloud code jobs. You can enable web hosting and deploy your front end for that web hosting everything done by AI automatically. You just have to prompt it. Now it's time for us to configure our back for app NCP so our AI can connect and operate our back for app account. Keep in mind we'll be doing this in Cursor today, but the process is very similar among other IDEs and AIs. And don't really bother writing things down. I'll leave a link in the description of this video showing how to set it up and all the code needed for that. So here is my Backfrap account. The very first step is to get a account key. And we can do that by going to my profile over here, clicking account keys, and putting a name for my account key, as you can have multiple ones. I'll be connecting cursor, so I'll just call this cursor. Click this plus sign, and copy this value over here. Now in Cursor, we can go to Cursor, Settings, Cursor Settings, and then here click MCP and add new global MCP server. This will start a document that I can just fill in with the code that is in the description of this video. And the only thing missing in this code is my account key that I'm going to paste right over here. There we go. Just check if everything is right. So it starts with UHJ and UHJ. So it's okay. I'm going to save this and close. Now, as you can see, it now has a record over here, but I have this red uh, bubble telling me it's not connected. This can happen from time to time. And the first thing to do is to check if this button is enabled. It should be green. If it still won't connect, you can just click this refresh button a few times and it should eventually connect and become green. Now you're good to go. Now that we've got everything configured, we can start finally chatting to the AI and asking it what we want to do. And this can go as high level as you need to be. You can get it very detailed specifying class names, app names, property names, property types, or you can just tell what your final objective is and the AI will try to figure out a way to get that done for you. Now, I will go very high level in here and this can take a while. The AI is smart enough to see when it did something wrong and try to fix it itself, but it could take a few minutes for it to run. So let's start by asking it to create a new app in my Backfrap account. So in my Backfrap, for app account, create a new app named CRM that will be a customer relation management tool. Hit enter. And for every single step it identifies it needs to do, it will ask for authorization. You can open up to see exactly the steps that are going to be performed and click run tool if you authorize. If you do, you will also get a response telling what was done. So as you can see, my 
app has been successfully created. It get, get me my app ID, my JavaScript key, and my recipe ID key, and also my master key. And we can check this out on our back for app dashboard again. So back here, I'm going to my apps. And this is my CRM app. So let's expand the dashboard. The database is empty because I didn't specify anything, but the app was created. Now let's try to get it to do all the heavy lifting for me. So back to cursor, I'm going to write, please implement a CRM tool in this app. Create all classes needed properties for those classes and also create and deploy a front end in HTML and JavaScript so I can use that tool. Now, this is a very high level prompt and it's going to take a while. I'm going to accelerate the video until we get the final results. You'll probably see me authorizing multiple steps because the AI is going to break this in multiple steps and I have to authorize every single one of those. And there you have it, it says it's done. So let's go to our cloud code section and inspect it to see if all files are in there. So back to uh, my back for app dashboard, I'm going to go to cloud code. And as you can see, multiple files were created here. The main.js file has lots of cloud code written. We also have an app.js with lots of code, data functions, index HTML. Uh, styles CSS, so it seems we are ready to go. I'll now uh, get this web hosting for this enabled and then we can test it. We can finally test it. I manually added a user so I can log into the system because it automatically created a login system for my tool and I published it with my web hosting. Now let's see if it's going to work. And there you go. My user is Alex K and my password is ABC123. And remember, all this was written automatically. I didn't have to prompt anything besides the first prompts that you saw in this video. So just log in. Okay. And now I have all these functions and reports already working. I can, for instance, add a new customer. So let's call this Alison Mello which is alison at backfrap.com and I don't have any company right now. I need to uh, write a few ones. Let's put it as active and this is our of Backfrap's founders and click save. And now it shows over here. I can edit, I can delete it. So you see how powerful this is. With just a single prompt, I got my whole system written up for me, published and working. So there you have it, everyone. The Backfrap MCP is a very powerful tool that's going to send your productivity through the roof. Whether you are an advice programmer or experienced one, you can benefit from this. And as always, it is for free and you can start using it right now. The configuration steps is in the description of this video. And we're also going to start a new series doing full systems only by using the Backfrap MCP. So be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on this new content that we're going to do. See you soon. Bye-bye.